YouTube. I'm going to show you guys my homemade air gun today. Um, this tell you real quick what it has. Uh, this is what I use for my air chamber. Well, actually, technically anything behind the green is an air chamber, but this is the main one. This part comes off right here, but I'm not going to bother trying that with one hand. I got a PSI valve from a paintball gun right there. It goes up to 300. Uh, this is what I use as an exhaust. And it just releases any air from inside the shredder valve. And it's just simply a screw through the casing and a little spring at the top. Anyways, it uh, goes up from there. Then you have my trigger, which is a blowgun valve, which is wired to a modified sprinkler, sprinkler valve. And the only modification done to it is that there's a hose barb attached to it, so it can actually wire the trigger into it. And that's all you need to do to the modified sprinkler valve to shoot. Uh, let's see if we can go from there. You have I use this part it was from a shotgun BB gun, like an airsoft gun, I should say. And it just had a bottom rail, so I stole that so I could uh, mount whatever at the bottom. And then I ended up going and ended up mounting a hand pump to it, so I could, don't have to bring a source of air with me, like um, a bigger hand pump or something that I used to use before. So this gun can all be shot using the gun. So you can see, it just pumps up right there. Anyways, and then I have from here, I hook up the pump with a shredder valve. I uh, took out some of the rubber and shoved it into, this hosing was from a bike pump, so I'm assuming it's rated at at least 200 PSI because the pipe goes up, uh, the pump goes up to like 250 or something stupid like that. Anyway, so yeah, I got a shredder valve, which is, you just simply stick into the pump, or you could stick, in, stick into an air compressor or whatever if you don't want to use the back and be hard, like pretty much like stationary. That clips onto another hose barb on the technically the chamber of my gun. Even like I said, it's even though it doesn't clip into there, this part is still pressurized. Uh, and I mean, it's just it's just a little it's just for looks. Doesn't actually do anything. Comes off. You see. Yeah. Anyways, and then uh, from there, I got my bolt action system, which is where you would load a shot. Uh, you just as you can see, you just open it up. Unlock it, open it up. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand, but anyways. That, and sometimes I use this, which I would actually go ahead and at this point take off my handle, take out the whole barrel. And now it's just a little adapter for BBs. Shoots little six millimeter airsoft BBs. Anyways, let's put it back together as simple as to take it apart. You just slide the barrel back down. Anyways, you gotta turn it until you see the, the hole and you just screw this in. This is from actually a computer CPU uh, fan, so that was really sweet when I found that. Anyways, uh, then I got a top rail which I also stole from uh, I'm uh, M16 BB gun this time in a airsoft gun, which I've mounted a non-magnified. Hit the lights. This is red dot. And. As you can see, it's an adjustable scope, so it has adjustable brightnesses. Anyways, yeah, so it's red, green dot. There's no magnification at all. Let's see. No magnification. Just the dot. Um, scope cost me like 55 bucks. It wasn't a big deal. It really makes a huge difference, uh, especially for looks, which is a huge part of this gun for me. So I uh, tried really hard to keep it looking real. Or, um close as they can and if uh, I've chronographed this at uh, the same place I got my scope which is actually a uh, paintball store here in London uh, not UK by the way I was gonna say don't mention about my accent because I don't have one um, anyways so yeah I chroned it and it came out to 355 feet per second using the standard paintball which is a uh, standard round
Here's just some of the ideas of what a shootout of it. Yes, this is a battery. Fits real nice in the barrel. Uh, you see, I'm just gonna push it in a little bit. Uh, shoots paintballs really nice. They fit the same size. They're same size as the barrel, so they don't. They have like perfect shots. Uh, marbles time to time, even though you got to use some sort of wadding behind it because they would just roll out. And like I said, BBs. But it really does shoot whatever you would fit in the barrel. And uh, I might be able to give you a quick shot or something. Uh, I can find a way to keep my phone. Yeah, it's it packs a bang. That's uh, that was just like fifteen or twenty pumps or whatever, which isn't too much consider considered too much in this gun. I'd say like thirty five is where it's just about as uh, as far as you can really pump it, which is far under its limits. So uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll uh, hopefully be putting up a video of it shooting soon because I'd really like you guys to see that because it's done some massive damage. So anyways, peace.